It's meme time, it's meme time Gather all your friends, it's meme time It's meme time, it's meme time The only cure for sadness So our story continues with Super Saiyan 3 Vegito covered in his black lightning smirking as across from him stands the equally steadfast Final Kaba and Super Saiyan 3 Kefla while Kaba, staring coldly at Vegito with his crimson red eyes, would then let out, Kefla, things are about to get real. No more games, okay? <laughs> to which the equally concentrated Kefla would just respond, And who made you, boss Kaba? I'm well aware things are about to get fun now. Just try and keep up. One lone lightning bolt from the thunderous sky strikes the ground. Instantly, all three of the Saiyans vanish, as if on the command of nature itself until... <coughs> Super Saiyan 3 Vegito and Kefla suddenly appear, with Vegito landing a punch on the arm of the Universe 6 Saiyan. Blocked of course, Vegito comments, slightly impressed, <coughs> Not bad, kid. The old you would have got hit by that. I see you've gotten used to this form. It took me a while to master it, you know. To which the smiling Kefla says back chuckling, <laughs> You talk down to me like you're my master. Don't get me confused with Kappa. You're just another loser I'm going to beat. Got it? But since you can't stop thinking about your dear old student, I'll let him butt in now. And just as Kefla had said, back down near the ground, a near motionless, cold as ice final Kaba grabs onto one arm with two fingers pointed directly towards Vegito. With Kaba muttering cautiously, hold it steady, just like that. This ends here, Master. <laughs> Immediately following up with Kappa shooting off two pin shot beams of energy that are so fast, not even the panel of the manga can show their end. <gasps> Kappa! This of course surprising Vegito, who didn't expect Kappa to be playing such a long distance role. As he stands there, face on with the now fast approaching balls of energy, Vegito stands firm, unflinching in the eye of what could spell serious damage, commenting instead, Not going to fight me head on, Kappa? And you call yourself my student. Pathetic! Before <laughs> shooting off himself in the nick of time to dodge the speeding energy beam. Not giving up or phased by Vegito's movements, Kaba, with perfect precision, fires off two more beams, saying as he does so, Say what you like, master, but we've prepared for this moment for years. I'm not going back on the game plan now. <laughs> game plan? As Vegito, still with the rabid beams of energy on his tail, thinks to himself, these two punks really think some two-bit strategy is all it will take to bring me down? Huh. I'll show you what happens when you try to predict the God Killer. <laughs> Flying off faster now in a straight line while the two energy beams slowly but surely get closer and closer. Following Vegito's every move as if this time he's seeking. <laughs> but in a strange sight, as the balls of energy now get so close they appear like mini suns behind Vegito, the god killer just maintains a cocky smirk as he says under his breath, That's it, come to Papa. I'm sure this is going to go exactly to plan, young Kappa. Unfortunately, <laughs> Inexplicably, Vegito changes direction in a flash, 
turning 180 degrees and heading straight for the two beams that might as well be in touching distance now until... Surprise! In a shock move, Vegeta then uses his time rings to immediately open a time portal in front of himself, almost acting like a pseudo shield. And the beams, just as Vegeta most likely planned, go straight through to another time dimension. But even as they escape, a dastardly smile still appears on Vegito's face, and not because he got rid of the attack, but because he knows where the beams are really headed, saying, <laughs> Tell me, Kappa, did your years of planning anticipate this? Maybe you should stop keeping your eyes so stuck on me, and check in on your little partner, punk. What? What is that? Leaving Kaba so confused, he immediately pauses his attack, not wanting to fire off more beams off into the strange black hole without knowing where they were going. As he stares into Vegito's confident face as the black hole closes in front of him, he begins to think on Vegito's words. Check in on my partner. What did he mean by that? Kefla? Kefla! <laughs> As meanwhile, while Kaba panics over what is to come next, Kefla just continues to confidently stand, watching as Vegito, from her point of view, seemingly struggles to avoid their combination of attacks. Commenting, Is Son Goku really in there? <laughs> He's struggling way more than I thought he would. While unknowingly, behind the young woman, a small time portal would begin to open. Until suddenly, massive behind her, almost dwarfing her existence until... <coughs> the flurry of high velocity energy beams, each and every one of the attacks that Kaba sent towards Vegito are shot right out onto the defenseless Kefla, striking her back all at once. Huh? Kefla! The revelation of what Vegito had planned finally hitting Kaba as he calls out in shock, checking in on her. Oh god, are you okay? Kefla, say something! To which as the cinders and smoke begin to fade off her backside, Kefla would eventually then say, with a truly disgruntled look, Shut up! Get him now! <laughs> But as Kaba tries to comfort the pain-stricken Kefla behind him, the God Killer appears once again, smirking with pride as he mysteriously lets out. You see, Kaba, that's the problem with fighting in pairs instead of one-on-one. -on -one. It just means you have two people to keep track of now. And unfortunately, you chose the wrong one to take your eyes off, kid. What? As in an instant, Vegito readies his God Slayer blade and moves his arm back, ready to swipe and seemingly end the life of the young warrior in one swoop. <gasps> Master! And now panicked, Kaba would turn his head rapidly to meet his fate. Too late! Yeah! But callously, without a care seemingly for his former student, Vegito swipes his blade immediately. But in the nick of time, in his final beast form, Kaba ducks, to the surprise of Vegito, who reacts, <gasps> Kaba, since when did you? <laughs> Master, it's been a long time. You should really stop treating me like a... KID! <coughs> Swiftly turning his body now to boot the God Killer back with a thunderous kick that sends Vegito flying. <coughs> but the attack doesn't end there, as in a move that has a shocking resemblance to Vegito's final flash, Kaba outstretches his arms 
powering up electrifying balls of energy in each palm, thinking, This one is dedicated to you, master! As he locks his arms directly onto the now far off god killer and begins yelling, Final! Blah! Yelling at high intensity as a ferocious wave of energy inspired by Vegeta's own signature attack blasts forth towards Vegeta. <laughs> what the? Taking even the few Saiyan by surprise as the power within it goes far beyond anything he'd previously seen from Kaba. And as the beam gets closer, the true state and size of it becomes apparent, almost rivaling Vegito's size, even from far off, as Vegito thinks, This isn't going to be good! As immediately, facing it head on, with a strenuous grimace on his face, Vegito places both of his palms onto the searingly hot surface of the blast. Attempting to hold it back, but when zoomed out, the size of the attack now resembles that of even a spirit bomb, as the ant-like silhouette of Vegito is just forced back, as if never having even tried to stop it in the first place. I need to stop this! Eventually pushing back onto the ground, giving him at least some sort of support now, with the whole planet seemingly being pushed back by Kaba's attack too. But with one final effort, using what appears like all his strength, while in his Super Saiyan 3 form, Vegito adamantly carries on pushing back, believing even in this form, final Kaba is still nothing to him. As he yells out, Kaba! You've got it a little too big for your boots! You think this is anything to me? Who do you think I... <laughs> but before Vegito can finish his cocky monologue and apparently push the ball back, it seems Final Kaba never even intended to have a back and forth struggle. As instant, the massive ball of energy detonates leaving at first a brief silence as the entire area, including Vegito, are lost in a nothing short of blinding white light until... In a mass explosion that is truly humongous, it now does actually resemble when Frieza was struck by the spirit bomb, and Vegito alone is caught in the humongous sphere of molten energy that surely would have erased anything within its perimeter. <laughs> Even far off, the now recovered Kefla would also feel the aftermath of the detonation, bracing herself as rubble and debris reach far off into the distance. But once calmed down, Hey, Kaba! What's the deal with that attack earlier? Watch where you point those things, you idiot! Nearly killed me! Conveniently then still carrying on her anger from being hit by Kaba's earlier beams, as if this was the right time of all times. <sighs> Leaving Kaba awkwardly silent as he whispers, Sorry, and can only think inside, How? How is she angry with me over something that wasn't even my fault? But Kefla, not letting things go as you'd expect, continues to berate her fellow Saiyan as she yells, Sorry? What do you mean, sorry? Are you trying to start a fight? Because oh boy, I've had enough of you in this final form, Kaba! While Kaba just submissively remains under the domineering female, wondering, oh, I can never catch a break with this girl. Cute! You guys made up! But where's my apology, kid? Huh? As suddenly, both Kaba and Kevla are left stunned into silence as a more than familiar and authoritative voice calls from afar. 
Ready? Hasta. <laughs> this guy just doesn't give up, does he? Leaving both Saints paralyzed in fear as they await for the seemingly unkillable God Killer to appear once again. <laughs> well, hello again. Thanks for that, Kappa. I was looking to get a little tan this summer. But that burning sun you just trapped me in did just the trick. What? The Vegito! As shockingly to Kaba, but perhaps unsurprisingly to us, Vegito appears in one piece, his arms folded, his head darkened to purple and surrounded in flames, as he now enters his ultra ego form. A form Presumably neither Kaba nor Kefla had any experience with previously. <sighs> Kaba, in fear and caution, immediately moves himself back to create space. But once he focuses in on Vegeta's new appearance, questions begin to arise. That... that form... what is it? Is he still a Super Saiyan 3? His eyebrows are still gone, but his hair is different. Huh? Are you kidding me? But if Kaba was left shot, a whole lot more could be said for Kaper. As she remains even more stunned and shaking uncontrollably as a rage begins to build inside her until she mutters out, What? What is that, Goku? Just when I finally become a Super Saiyan 3, after you never bothered to teach me! Now, now you bring out something even cooler! What is that? Super Saiyan 4? As behind her, we see the childish but comedic mental image of her now wholly unsatisfied with her current form and wanting exactly what Vegito has just as she did with Goku back in the Tournament of Power. That's it! I'm not going to be shown up by you boys again! As after an outburst of anger, Kefla quickly ducks her head, grinding her teeth as the planet itself begins to rumble and sparks of electricity spontaneously burst forth in the air surrounding her. <laughs> An uncontrolled fit of rage, reminiscent of Kale's final form, Kefla roars at the top of her lungs, as her pupils disappear and her body noticeably bulks up even further. <laughs> Instantly then rushing straight to Vegito, screaming as she does so, This battle ends here! I'm the strongest Saiyan in the multiverse, not you! <laughs> strongest in the what now? Seriously, what is wrong with this brat? As even Vegito remains puzzled over Kefla's sudden outburst, but also noticeably calm, still even as she reaches touching distance. But despite the confidence, Vegito is no fool and blocks Kefla's powerhouse punch, but with a look of pure strain on his face as he grunts. Now that hurt! Nice one, kid! But the punch is so hard, it actually eventually sends Vegito flying backwards towards the ground despite blocking most of his impact. His speeding body then crashes wildly into the planet itself, leaving Vegito imprinted into it. <laughs> but despite this, in his ultra ego form, with one eye open, Vegito continues to smile and laugh. <laughs> this brat! That kale inside her gives her truly monstrous strength. Hurting me, even when blocking? <laughs> Ridiculous. 
but not in the slightest bit done yet. Kefla continues her assault, flying in at the God Killer. While Kikito, who now raises his body back against the wall, just watches on, still in a mocking mood, commenting, Oh, here we go. I thought she'd mastered her emotions, but she still loses control if pushed to the edge, huh? How very scary. Yeah! Kefla, not allowing any more to be said, slams her fist straight into Vegito's face, impacting the wall hard too with seemingly Vegito's own skull. <laughs> Almost! Just a little to your left and you would have actually hurt me a bit, kid. Revealing eventually that despite how it seemed, Kefla had in fact missed Vegito, shattering the wall behind him instead as if it was made of glass. Meanwhile, with his head still tilted, Vegito would look into the eyes of Kefla and continue. What's wrong? Are you telling me when you lose your pupils, you actually lose your sight too? I thought it was just to look cool. <laughs> to which the continued to be enraged Kefla with a grunt, yells, I'll kill you! <laughs> but now readying his own body, and with a more serious tone, Vegito yells back, Enough of this! I'm done babysitting you brats now! <laughs> Launching a punch aiming for the ribs of Kefla's body, but the other few Saiyan is quick to dodge out of the way, flipping back and skidding across the floor from Vegito. Until finally, with still a rage-filled face, Kefla grumbles, So, you finally want to start fighting back, do you, old man? Well, bring it on! As Vegito gets into a strange sprinter's stance, looking directly at his target and coldly saying, my pleasure, woman. <laughs> You're underestimating me, Goku! <laughs> not underestimating you, and I'm not Goku. But sure, whatever floats your boat, lady. <laughs> As instantly, with the brief trash talk complete, both Vegito and Kefla then rush in at each other, finally ready to clash equally, instead of one-sidedly. <laughs> Smashing their fists together, creating a planet-quaking impact in the process, with Vegito looking calm, while Kefla can't help but bare her teeth. <laughs> Looks like our bunches are almost equal in strength now. Not bad for a girl. <laughs> I'm just getting started, old man! As the two stare into each other's eyes and yell out insults. In the air, multiple clashes of fists and kicks would then be seen, moving from end to end all throughout the sky. But as we look closer, only one of the fighters seemed to have the upper hand, and it doesn't seem to be who we expect as Vegito is pummeled, hard and without mercy, by the female Saiyan. And as the barrage of beating goes on, watching all the while, closely from below, is an unsettlingly silent final cabal. But as his own eyes dart around, watching every move and trade, a concerning thought begins to brew in his mind, as he thinks, What's going on here? It looks like... It looks like Kefla's winning up there. But the way Master's fighting, it's different. It's like he's not even trying. Huh? But soon, a look of shock and horror finds Kappa's profile as both his eyes and mouth blast wide open, yelling out in realization, Wait a second, his power level... It's increasing by the second! But why? As meanwhile, back in the sky with Vegito, a visibly beaten and bruised Vegito smiles as he wipes off the blood leaking from his mouth, 
looking on at Kepler, still in high spirits, as he says, <laughs> Oh, I haven't taken a beating like this in a while. Bravo. But when are you going to finish the job and knock me out, huh? <laughs> Don't annoy me! If you want to go to sleep so bad, then I'll make that happen now! <laughs> but unfortunately, as Kefla follows through with what was supposed to be a final punch, it is quickly and effortlessly stopped right in its tracks by Vegito's palm. As the God Killer himself, now with a sinister smirk, looks right into Kefla's soul and says, <laughs> On second thought, I think I might stay up for a while. And would you look at that? Just in time, because it's my turn now. Hakai! And shockingly, in a completely unexpected turn of events, Vegito stares right into the arm of Kefla and shouts the one word he had previously reserved for the girl. Hakai, he wouldn't! As even Kefla stands completely shell-shocked that Vegito would even entertain doing this. Ah, what have you done to me? But in the end, as Vegito pulls his palm away, left horrifically in place of Kefla's once full arm, is a dull stomp disintegrating right before the eyes of the paralyzed still safe, only screaming, You! You're going to pay for- <laughs> Shut up already! But halfway through her scream of pain and anger, Vegito, not having any more of it, slams his leg right into the now defenseless left side of Kefla sending the Fusein tragically to the ground with an ungodly smash. As in its final wake, Kefla just remained on the ground, back in base, and now seemingly completely unconscious, not uttering a word, but deep breaths as her body fights to recover. <laughs> but standing still tall in the sky, Looking down on his victim is of course still Ultra Vegito, slowly levitating to the ground with a smile as he lets out. Not bad. Gave me a good power up with that beating, and you still haven't defused. Don't worry too much about the missing arm either. I already fought a fused warrior, and know the minute you do separate, you'll be good as new. Referring of course to back when he fought Ultra Gogeta, who also lost his arm. But once defused, both arms were intact with GT Goku and Vegeta. But despite the well-meaning words, down below, the utterly shock-stricken Final Kaba can only stare into the lifeless body of Kefla on the ground, muttering, K- Kefla, you did that too? As suddenly, the realization that his master was not the man he thought he was and never could go back to what he used to be either after what he'd just done to his two closest allies causes something to snap within the mind and soul of Kabber until... KEFLA! In a roar of pure intensity and passion, Final Kaba screams to the heavens as if his efforts would somehow revive his ally. His entire body now engulfed in a strange white aura, while the red electricity that previously surrounded him now grows infinitely in intensity. His aura, so large now, it no longer can even fit into view as the top blasts off into space like a key beam disintegrating anything in its path, while all the while, Ultra Vegito stands watching, this time rarely without a smirk as he watches on silently, knowing how much of a wild card the young Saiyan could potentially be. But also, 
slowly growing tired of this Universe 6 Saiyan's powers, commenting, Come on, you think you're so great in your strange little transformation, don't you? You think you're the protagonist here, the one who powers up in rage and stops the villain. But little do you know, I'm the main character here! As Vegito, no longer wanting to mess around anymore, powers up instantly to his ultra form. His hair, now a mix of white and purple, and covering his body, dark black lightning that puts Cabot to shame. <coughs> The massive power-up of course though, not going unnoticed by Kaba, who immediately stops and looks at Vegito, trying his best to assess Vegito's new level of power, just saying, So, you finally show your true self, this is the God Killer. <laughs> but with the introductions done, Kaba is quick to display his incredible speed and rushes head on, with his left leg swinging back ready to slam into Vegito. All the while, the God Killer remains completely unfazed. Yeah! But with the precision expected of Vegito in his ultra form, the kick misses completely. Yeah! And so too, almost just as easily, Cabo's follow-up punch also lands on thin air, as Vegito easily jumps into the sky to avoid this. <laughs> Up here, boy! Is this the limit of your so-called final form? <laughs> Causing the now starting to get annoyed Cabo to pop a vein in his forehead and then immediately... <laughs> rush straight back at the distant Vegito, yelling out as he does so, I'm just getting started! <laughs> In a flash, catching up to the few Saiyan, he throws out a flurry of kicks and punches. All the while, Vegito seems to keep his arms folded and simply defends with just his feet alone. <laughs> Stop playing with me! <laughs> Eventually causing Kaba to view the exchange as pointless and move back to instead power up a powerful ball of energy within the palm of his hand. With all his might, as if throwing a perfect pitch, final Kaba tosses the ball of key so fast its entire shape distorts. But unbelievably, now making Kaba look nothing more than a Yamcha clone, Ultra Vegito, still with his arms folded, just kicks away the attack like it was a mere football. <laughs> the sight of this in the end, leaving Kaba stunned into near silence, as he can't seem to even fathom the sudden difference in power between the two. As he thinks, what, what's going on? Was he playing with me this whole time? No, not after all these years of training. <laughs> yes, yes I was, Kaba. As inexplicably as if predicting the exact thoughts of Kaba, Vegito, with a maniacal grin, laughs loudly in response to Kaba's questions until... Huh? In an instant, Vegito appears right behind Kaba, giggling away as he ominously says finally... Don't worry, kid. I'll take you out of this nightmare here and now. <laughs> Before in classic style, just as he did with Hit, Vegito strikes the back of Kaba's neck with the side of his palm. And again, under the sheer power of it, it seems like Kaba almost loses consciousness. Flung down at rapid speed before crashing hard on the ground. But once we see Kaba on the floor, 
Unlike Hit, he seems to be in comparatively much better condition. On his hands and knees grunting and barely able to move, but not incapacitated. A short distance away though, Vegeta would then land with a soft thud. And as he walked slowly towards the fallen Saiyan, he would comment himself, <laughs> You know what? You handled that attack a lot better than I expected. It was pretty much done after the same move. Maybe you are worthy of being called my student, kid. <laughs> get away from him! But before Vegito can get any closer, Suddenly, a base Kefla, still missing her arm, appears in front of Kaba to defend him. Somehow, still conscious and still with enough energy to put up a fight. <laughs> Vegito, seeing this though, is impressed and comments, You too? So you managed to survive as well. You kids really did get a whole lot stronger. It's a pity. It was for no reason, though. <clears throat> Thanks for getting in the way. If anything, this will be faster. You two little lovebirds can go to sleep together. As Vegito, with a truly evil smile, begins powering up a powerful wall of energy of his own. One that in their state, they will have no chance of escaping. <sighs> the two Saiyans, watching on, would just hold their stance, knowing there is nothing they can do now but take the attack and hope to survive. Their final words just uttering each other's names. Kaba, Kale, Cauliflower. But suddenly, just before Vegito ends their consciousness, the door to the Pyramid of Power slams open. And shockingly, emerging from the Pyramid finally are not only Lord Chumpa and his angel attendant Vados, both looking beat up from training hard, but also in front of them, a thoroughly different looking King Zedala. Now beardless, and covered in scars from endless years of extended battle, each not uttering a word as they stare at the God Killer. <gasps> Chompa, Vados, and who the hell is that? Leaving Vegito completely sidelined as not only the God he came for having finally arrived, but a new powerful sane looking foe that he had never anticipated. Father! K King Sadala? You're finally finished! As both Kefla and Kaba equally react in shock, but more with a tune of relief that finally, their trump card in battle had finally arrived. As the beardless king, meanwhile, doesn't break his gaze from Vegito, and lets out ominously, So, this is the so-called Saiyan King? How disappointing. So our story begins with King Sadala having just emerged from the Pyramid of Power, walking over towards Kefla and Kaba who stand eagerly waiting and of course weakened after being beaten by Vegito. But father, you, you look different. Kefla, his half-daughter, naturally left near speechless, not only at the sudden arrival of the king, but his change in appearance too. While Kaba, in synchronization, lets out, King Sadala. He's changed. Did he finally perfect it? <laughs> the king, though, with an emotional face, just remains with his eyes locked onto the two, not saying a word, and it's unclear if the years of training had changed his very personality until... My daughter, look at you. 
I'm proud. With a calm and collected smile, the king softly grabs onto the fused warrior's shoulder and says lovingly, So this is what you achieved. I'm impressed. You've done well, and by the looks of it, you did a real number on him. Now rest up. I'll deal with him now. What? But despite the king's heartfelt words, the totally void of emotional intelligence Kefler just grows comedically to Uzaru like in stature and screams at her father, You deal with him now? Don't give me that! I lost an arm out here because you took so long! What kind of father are you? You haven't even asked me if I'm okay! And what's with your missing beard? You look like my little brother now! Ugh, I'm so done with you! <sighs> Leaving the king with a nothing short of completely awkward and defeated face as he just stares into the distance, whispering under his breath, Weird. I thought she'd think this was cool. I wanted to surprise you. <laughs> But just as easily, the king's face then returns to normal. Now looking at Kaba, he says, Never mind. Since when do women ever know what really looks good on a man? Right, Kaba? Anyway, what's the situation here? Is this foreign king just as strong as we thought? Or is he just another weakling Champa overreacted about? <laughs> no. But as Kaba struggles to get back onto his feet, he can only grumble until getting up and looking over to the king with dead eyes. No, he's stronger. Way stronger than we ever thought or prepared for. I don't think... I don't think this is even his final form. <laughs> but on hearing this, in probably a surprise to most of us, the king of the universe six saiyans seems overjoyed as he lets out perfect just the way i wanted after all we both know this isn't my final form either vegito meanwhile who still has his arms folded watching on as the trio converse just calls out impatiently uh, excuse me Sorry to interrupt the reunion, but who exactly might you be? You seem... you seem a little familiar. <laughs> oh, is that so? The king looking out the corner of his eye after being addressed, then responds, All in good time, my friend. Before turning his body to face Capra and Kaba and continuing, I'll be right back. Just need to have a little chat with the kids, alright? After which, instantly, the king then turns his back to Kefla and Kaba and outstretches his arms to either side. One arm in front of Kefla and the other in front of Kaba. But neither seem shocked or surprised as if they'd prepared for this very moment their entire adult life. As the king says, Alright. It's time you two begin the ritual. <laughs> as meanwhile, a thoroughly pleased and calm as anything Jumper looks to his angel attendant in the background, saying snidely, You see, Vados, what did I tell you? The Oracle Fish never lies. The plan is finally starting after all this time. Everything we prepared for is finally coming to fruition. Now do your part and heal them at once, Vados. As Vados instantly, even while in the middle of responding, Yes, my lord, as you wish, begins vanishing from the spot. In a flash, reappearing behind Kaba, Kefla, and the king, saying in a hushed tone, Okay, you two, stand still. This will only take a moment. Ah! As immediately, both Kaba
Gabba and Kefla become enveloped in a shining, bright white light that takes the two by surprise with what it does to them. Kefla's energy is seemingly perfectly restored, transforming back into her full power Super Saiyan form, while Kaba 2 becomes engulfed back in his mysterious white aura raging in red lightning. As even he looks down to his hands in shock and comments, Our oh, powers, they're back! Kefla, we can do it now! And with that said, the two give each other a nod in silence, as they had already discussed beforehand just what would happen in this situation. Before simultaneously, each places a hand on the shoulder of the king in front of them, as all three begin to then surround themselves in a calm aura that begins to move in one direction, from the youngsters to the king himself as the king with a smirk comments, <coughs> There you go, give me your energy, your king will put an end to all of this. <coughs> they must be joking, both of them are giving him their energy, that's the big plan? How pointless, there's only so much a body can take. This is no Super Saiyan God ritual. All giving them their share of energy will only serve to marginally increase whatever strength he already has. Tch! <laughs> Amateurs, we Saiyans in Universe 6 learned that a long time ago. Not true, Saiyan! But as Vegito disregards the efforts of the three Saiyans, the God of Destruction of Universe 6 has something to add, saying sharply, Don't compare what you scummy Saiyans from Universe 7 can do to what our Saiyans can do. The King is no ordinary Saiyan, and definitely no run-of-the-mill everyday piece of trash like you. Before with a more relaxed tone, as if truly believing the words coming out his mouth, he looks to the sky and begins explaining, this king is like no other. He is the warrior the Oracle Fish foretold to be the strongest in our universe's history. The true successor to the God of Destruction throne. A Saiyan born with the highest potential of his entire species. Not by talent, but by the number of so-called S-cells within his body. Huh? S-Cells! This last line suddenly sending a shiver of shock and confusion through Vegito's entire body as he wonders, Where? Where have I heard that before? Huh. Looks like your memory has wavered, Master. As Kaba, looking coldly at his former teacher, continues, S-Cells. S-Cells are what we Saiyans all have in our bodies in differing amounts, Master. It's what enables us to transform, and they are said to be in greater amounts in those with gentler hearts. Us Saiyans from Universe 6 were always predisposed to have way higher amounts than the evil planet-conquering Saiyans of your universe. It's why Kale, Kalifla, and myself were able to transform just by focusing on the tingles on our backs while you had to go through far more. But even us three only have 25% of the maximum S-cells a Saiyan body can have. The scientists say even that is 10% more than the Saiyans of your universe though. But the king, the king possesses 99%. <laughs> to which a now proudly smiling Kefla would add, and with that many S cells, Goku, he's going to be able to use all of our power together. 
Who knew my old man would finally become useful for something? What? Vegito, hearing this, is initially full of shock, not realizing the warrior before him was anything special. Questioning, combine your full powers together? So like a fusion, but between four different Saiyans. As he contemplates on the monstrosity that these four could produce until... <laughs> <laughs> Amazing! As from what first started as a small smirk, soon turns into a full-on crazy laugh. As in a twist, Vegito is completely excited by the idea, saying, I was hoping this universe could give me more of a challenge. This will be perfect! Might make me test out even a quarter of my ability. Now stop all the talking and bring it on! Show me your power, fools! As in a sudden fit of rage and impatience, Vegito overflows with a hunger for battle that takes over his mind. <sighs> the sudden switch in enthusiasm, though, begins to intimidate the gods themselves who watch on. As with a nervous look on Chumper's face, he comments to his angel, Wait! Why? Why is he excited, Vados? Why is this Saiyan not scared? Is he an idiot? To which a cautious Vados, with a sweat drop coming down her face, just whispers back in a fake confidence, Don't worry, Lord Chumper. This must just be their typical Saiyan bravado. Vegeta-san was exactly the same. He'll think twice once the king unleashes his true power. I can promise you that. But just as Vado says that, suddenly, both Kefla and Kaba are reverted back to their base forms, as if now completely out of energy. As Kefla says, Oof, that was quick. While Cabo whispers, It's... It's done, King. <laughs> About time. As the King, now having seemingly taken every drop of energy from the duo, looks to Vegito with veins bulging and pulsating all over his body, and lets out, Sorry for the wait, my fellow King. But I'm done talking of the King. And with that, without a word more of a goodbye, King Sadala walks off towards the God Killer, leaving Kaba and Kefla behind. And as he gets closer and closer, only a smirk begins to grow on his face, as inside he thinks, I wonder if he has any idea how long I've waited for this moment. God Killer! As towering considerably over Ultra Vegito, King Sodala appears right in front of the folded armed Fuse Saiyan. Staring right into his eyes domineeringly, unfearful in any way at all, as Black Lightning roars only inches away from him. Looking up calmly and unfazed, Vegito would then say, so, are you going to stare at me all day with those big yellow eyes? Or are you going to show me something? Where is this new power? I don't sense anything different about you. Can we get this over with? I have a date with a certain kitty. To which the king, just looking down without even the slightest bit of a smile, replies, just as I would expect of fellow Saiyan royalty. Just as impatient as my brother once was. But no matter, if you want to cut to the chase and see my true power, then this is one request I can grant you, Vegito. <laughs> as without a moment to waste, the king then suddenly begins gritting his teeth madly 
his nostrils flaring up as veins even appear on his cheeks. His arms first bulking up massively as his fists close so tight, traces of blood begin to seep, and his back now growing in size to insanity levels, as with a thunderous roar, he groans, as aura and wind begin to emanate all around his body, affecting the very planet itself with his transformation. The ground beneath him, spitting in all directions, as if the surface itself can't withstand his energy. And from outside, the planet once again begins to visibly shudder and quake. <sighs> this is even worse than Kaba! As Vegito, standing across from the king, can only step back slightly as he struggles to keep his balance on the now falling apart planetary surface. But as we zoom in on Vegito's face, the true level of his surprise is seen as he comments, his power level, it's skyrocketing like nothing else! But how far will he go? <laughs> An almost indirect answer to Vegito's thoughts, the king roars even louder, signaling a second part to his transformation as his power level now already surpasses both Kefla's and Final Cabin with the king yelling with his eyes locked onto Vegito. Witness the true power of the Saiyan! <laughs> Vegito, who was literally right near him on the other side, having just felt the power of the king's sudden burst in energy, is taken by surprise, and then immediately flung across the battlefield, flying high in the air. <laughs> until eventually regaining himself, still covering his body from the vast swathes of air and pressure swarming at him from the king, as he then comments, Now it's going up even faster! But his form isn't even changing! Has he even begun, or are we just getting started? <laughs> Just as Vegeta wondered why nothing is changing appearance-wise for the king, a change begins to happen, but in the most unexpected of ways. As suddenly, a tail begins to sprout forcefully from behind the saint, and it slowly then reaches its full length as the king crouched over in body becomes surrounded in a ball of aura that remains ominously slow moving. And the king's hair turns from black to white and grows massively in length. His arms and chest now unbelievably becoming surrounded in a white fur too, as if his hair is spreading like a virus through his body, until from behind we see the final full length of his long white strands take shape, and in the end, King Sadala reaches his final form. His hair spiked up uncontrollably in white, his body covered in silver fur, and his tail out in full force. All the while, he bears the same crimson red eyes as Kaba, but in this form, he is no final King Sadala or Beast King. More so, he resembles a certain legendary form from decades ago. And in the aftermath, the fully transformed King Sadala would just stare silently towards Vegeta, not breaking his glance while ravenous sparks of randomized electricity encompass his body. But behind, where Cabra and Kefla look on, the tall stature of their royal king in an all new form is clear to see. Surrounded in bursting aura is enough to leave both in a state of paralysis and shock until... King Sadala, he did it! He really did it! 
Well, K-Flow in a stark contrast yells out, Father, you damn old geezer. I knew you were good for something. Get him, Dad! <laughs> and similarly, Chumper, now completely full of delight, raises his fist in excitement and lets out, It's done, Bados! We won! I told you we'd go down like this. The Oracle Fish never lies! Remind me to get some extra nice fish food once we're done here. <laughs> While Bados, also with a more calm and quietly confident look, just responds, Yes, my lord. As usual, your wisdom never fails you. This king has followed through just as you said. Surely, the strongest mortal to ever exist. <coughs> what is this? But in a complete switch, when we come back to Vegito, the thoughts and feelings are thoroughly different, as a wide-eyed now Vegito begins thinking. Whoa! He's completely different! He looks like some sort of Super Saiyan! That tail! That fur! No way! He looks just like those two guys from before! Almost like a Super Saiyan 4! As within the confines of Vegito's mind, he begins to think back to GT Goku and Vegeta, who he had met previously until... <gasps> no way! Vegito's face becomes even more shell-shocked as he then puts the pieces of the puzzle together and yells, Could this be a Super Saiyan 5? This power, it has to be. It's unbelievable. And again, accessed with a tail. Just how far could we Saiyans really go without God forms? <laughs> But meanwhile, the king finally breaking his silence, looking down at the palm of his hand as he says in self-admiration, <laughs> Looks like you finally caught on to what you're going up against. This is another level to you, friend. This is the true ultimate form of the Saiyans. The power that can only be achieved by those with 100% of their Saiyan potential unlocked. 100% S.O. And this tale just gave me my final percent. Before changing his expression once more and looking to Vegito callously yelling, Now bow down to the true king, Vegito! <laughs> as a supremely confident god in the background then points his finger as if controlling a lapdog and yells, Scared now, god killer! Allow me to savor the fear in your voice as you're beaten to a pulp. Prepare to meet your untimely fate to a fellow Saiyan, just as my brother had to. Go now, king! DESTROY HIM! As the king, as if truly bent by the need to jump her, rushes in immediately with a ferocity that would make even Broly proud. As a seemingly alarmed Vegito just stands paralyzed still in the distance. And once we look closer, the true apparent fear is written all across the god killer's face in the midst of the legendary Super Saiyan 5 as he can only mutter out, No! No! The ultimate Saiyan! How? How can I be that? Psych! <laughs> Until out of nowhere, Ultra Vegito's face shifts into one of psychotic demonic nature. His eyes bulged open and veins stricken as a grin like no other that emerges on his face despite the monster that approaches him. And in 
an odd scene as the Super Saiyan 5 King reaches right before the God Killer, Vegeta remains standing motionless, not even attempting to shy away in any capacity. And eventually, the incredibly powerful punch then makes its move, landing flush hard with a thunderous impact on Vegito's face. Ha <laughs> ha How's that, Vegito? Now I know that had to hurt. Is this the power you so desired to see? And Vegito, who remains still, still with the King's fist firmly imprinted in his face, remains eerily silent, as if perhaps knocked out standing until... What power? You're kidding, right? I thought we were warming up. Huh? Leaving the king at first taken aback in confusion until... Uh, what? What is that? As the king pulls his arm back in fear and disbelief, having realized not only that his attack did nothing, but also after seeing a certain scene on Vegito's face in the aftermath of his attack. As ironically, left behind is in fact the God Killer's signature black eye with white iris, now signaling his activation of the stolen God and angel powers within his body. With his arm fully pulled back, the domineering king of the Saiyans then trembles in the presence of Vegito, muttering, How? Why? Why didn't you move? Why aren't you damaged? I am the ultimate Saiyan! To which Vegito, only angling his head, says back, Ultimate Saiyan? Huh. Maybe in your universe. But you don't even hold a candle to the weakest Saiyan back in mind. Before holding his head back upright and with a slight grin that would scare anyone, he lets out. But if holding onto that title means so much to you, you can have it. After all, I'm no Saiyan anymore. I am a God Killer. Huh? As suddenly, a look of fear and shock comes across the king's face, but it doesn't seem to be because of Vegito's words, but instead, something much worse. <laughs> As unbelievably to the king, an apparition of the former God of Destruction candidate, Topo, instantly appears behind the king, and bear hugs him with the same intensity he had given to Goku in the past. This time, the grip being so tight that the king immediately coughs out blood. Topo's power, of course, being amplified with Vegito's own strength. But even as the king struggles to breathe under the bone-crushing grip of Topo, Vegito himself doesn't seem to be done. As he yells, <sighs> Sorry, but it's time for that date of mine as Vegito's whole body becomes surrounded by an eerily mysterious energy before... Huh? No! No! Stop! In a scene that harks back to what Kefla had done to Vegito last chapter, Vegito blasts King Sidala with a tsunami of energy that seemingly instantly vaporizes him. The aftermath resulting in a massive explosion as the beam hits the ground. But in the distance, the level of control Vegito must have actually used is revealed. As though the Topo apparition had been destroyed by its own creator, the near lifeless but still just about breathing body of the king is seen floating in the distance. <laughs> As when we zoom in, we see the extent of the damage with the king now back in base form, covered in his own blood, and his pupils now missing from having rolled back to his head. Slowly but surely, the king's near dead body would continue to descend down back to the ground with a deafening silence. <laughs> Before landing brutally by the base of his neck, 
his heavy legs almost reaching his face uncontrollably. Until finally, with his whole body stretched out and motionless, the king remained unconscious, only able to mutter as his final words, Good killer. Father! King! Saiyan! Ugh. And in a sharp scene, the reactions of the four remaining Universe 6 warriors paint a shocking picture as Kefla, Kappa, Champa, and Vados all stare in disbelief and consternation as they try to take in that not only was their king and trump card defeated and on the verge of death, but also in such convincingly effortless fashion. <coughs> but as the adrenaline of the shock passes, the realization and fear of the situation shudders through Champa as he screams, no! No! The king can't be defeated! Not like that! Vados, tell me this is an illusion! But curiously, as Chumper calls to his angel attendant, only an unusual silence is given back. Vados! Leading to the god to turn around furiously continuing, Are you listening to me, angel? How dare you- Huh? The- Vados! But suddenly, as Chomper turns around, a mystery sight is in front of him, silencing him in the spot as his body goes stiff in shock. But what could it be? Vados! And finally, we see what the shocking scene is, as on the ground, a completely lifeless body lays flat on the surface. And once we get a closer look, it is revealed to be none other than Bados, now looking like an empty, wrinkly flap of skin on the ground, clearly the victim of Vegito's cell tail. Bados! Champa, who at this point knows not what else to say, can only incessantly yell out the name of his former angel attendant, until finally... Calm down, kitty! From behind, the one voice that Chompa didn't want to hear, the one voice that would bring shivers down his very spine, calls to him and him alone. And as his pupils move to the corner of his eyes to confirm who it is, to us and everyone around, it is revealed to be none other than Ultra Vegito and just as predicted in the middle of retracting his cell arm too. The very arm which had just absorbed the very life force of his own angel. Yeah, why you? But as the hopelessness of the situation hits Chumper, he reaches his fight or flight moment and chooses to become enraged, turning his body to get his own chance at taking down the God King. He doesn't even get a chance as brutally. With a powerful thrust, Vegito penetrates the torso of Chompa with his entire arm, creating a massive, gaping hole in the process. And shockingly, once we look inside the body of the god, we see Vegito's own hand is grabbing the very heart of Chompa, pulsating as the heart beats faster and faster from the god's apparent fear. Uh, what? What are you doing? And with the god being allowed to say a few more words, his last ones only just inquire what sadistic thing Vegeta was now doing to them. Uh, I'm doing what I should have done a long time ago, Garfield. I'm making sure you never harm another innocent mortal ever again! Your energy is mine! And suddenly, in a rush of trickling energy, the very god key Vegito absorbs through Champa comes straight through his heart in an instant, being drained completely until... <laughs> 
with a sudden and violent closing of his fist, Ultra Vegito burst the heart of the god in one swoop, instantly ending his life. And in the wake, Vegito then roughly removes his arm, leaving the truly lifeless Chumpa now standing on bodily instinct alone, wobbling more and more uncontrollably until... Chumpa's deceased body then falls to the ground without a murmur. Poetically, next to his angel attendant Vados once again. And without a thought more, now done finally with his next godly victim, Vegito raises his arm to do the one thing we all know he must. Hakai! Yelling the chant of the destroyers with passion, with just as much conviction as he did from day one. And as expected, both of the bodies of Vados and Champa then vanish immediately, erasing to nothing, never to be seen or heard from again in the living world. Champa! Uh -huh. uh -huh. No! Why? This of course leaving the traumatized Kefla and Kaba, who both have lost all their energy, having given it to the king earlier, now just standing powerless, watching as everything around them metaphorically crumbles away. <laughs> Finally, over halfway through the list, only five gods and angels till the big day. It's time to get a move on. Leaving the smirking Vegito to think on what he's just done and what's next. While little does he know, in the distance behind him in the sky, a mystery figure appears watching. Godly in nature, but humanoid in appearance. Could it be the Grand Priest? But no, in the sky, finally in the same scene as Vegito, watching him from afar, is in fact Goku Black, looking down with one hand on his hip and a serious look as he thinks, Now, do my eyes deceive me, or is that the fusion of Goku and Vegeta down there? The heroes of Universe 7 now slaughtering the gods and angels? Huh. How things can change. Damn fickle mortals. As he begins to think back to a simpler time when Vegito Blue fought to defeat the original God Killer. Hell is for lovers who love one another. For ass, of which I like to eat. You is for your the only one for me. She's for the only gamer I see. Change is for happy. I always feel it when you're together. What do you get? 